Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, Wild Tracker here, and welcome to episode 2 of Wildcraft Single Player Season 2. Yes, uh, so, uh, I haven't done much since last time, uh, we've just been uh, walking around, gathering a few resources, um, just seeing what's in this immediate area, our home is just over there, so uh, I've come out, killed a few sheep, because there's a lot of sheep around here. Um, so I've just been getting myself some mutton and uh, things like that. So uh, yeah, lots of sheep missed. Uh, yeah, so uh, I think I'll probably do for now. Give me a little bit of food. Uh, the other thing we had over here, uh, let's see if we can see them now. I've probably got rid of them all, which is a bad thing. But anyway, um, cows, we've got some leather and a little bit of beef. So we have some cows. Yes, I did leave some over here. So we've got some cows there. And the other thing I've been trying to do as well is... Hello, Moo. You are safe. Yeah, I'm going to need you later to start my cow farm. Uh, yeah, I've been trying to gather a few seeds because I figured the best really uh, long-term thing for food is to get some seeds, breed some chickens. There we go. There's another seed there. So I've just been breaking this little bit of grass that's here. Not very many seeds though, not dropping very much. Is that another one there? Okay, that should probably do enough. Oh good. Uh right, let's not many seeds he says, a million start coming out. Uh typical that is anyway. Um yeah, so you know I said beyond that wall is probably uh where we were, and lo and behold, there it is. So I just dug straight through. So we've got a nice quick easy way into this area up here now, which is pretty good. It's on that level, so that's uh, that's good. So let's get this in the oven, uh, raw mutton, and then we'll cook the beef afterwards, get rid of things like the well, cobble we'll keep, the wool we don't need, don't really need that at the moment, so much wool, don't need rotten flesh or trees, although we probably should plant a few more of these around here, really, shouldn't we? Have we got some? Yes, we have. So let's put some trees over here. Um, and then should we need some, we can get them. Can we put one there? We should be able to put one in there. Got some torches there as well, so hopefully nothing will... Uh, too dark, but we can start our own little uh, farm later on as well. So uh, that'll just get these trees growing for now to chop straight back down again. Cool, okay, uh, so what we next need is, we need some seeds, but we need somewhere to put these chickens. Now, I'm wondering if we can get them up here. Uh, let's see, should we make an area here for them? Let's make a little area. And if we can get the chickens to come into here, that'll be fantastic. Because then, yeah, that'll be good. Um, let's put that dirt back down there. Let's go and see. We've got any chickens at the top here, but they're all down the bottom, aren't they? Never a chicken when you want them. They were all over there, weren't they? The other side of the lake. So that could be a challenge to get them. Let's see now. Uh, there's one in the water. Can we get you, chicken? There's one up there as well. You'd be really good if you actually saw my... You saw me down here. Probably not though, is he? Hey chicken, can you see me? Got some seed for you? Even your mate over there doesn't see me. Right, let's go and see what we've got over here, because we need at least two. If we can get a few more, then even better. Hey, chicken guy, there you go. Now, are you being slow in water still? They are, aren't they? They're being very derpy. Does that mean we might have to actually have our chicken farm over this side? It might be a short-term option. Oh, piggies too! Excellent! Not that we've got any carrots, but we've got piggies. And we've got an egg. So you're not very good in water, these chickens, are they? They're kind of... Yeah. Okay, on land. So let's go over here. Yeah, you're going to follow me. Come on then. It's getting dark. You're going to follow me? And if you follow me into the water, will you be able to swim? Where's your mate that laid the egg? Don't fall down there. Oh, there you are. Hey, you come with. Yeah, come on, both of you, into the water. Come on, 
There's one. There's the other. And can you swim? Not very fast. Come on, guys, before the mobs get here. Yeah, cheeky, 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 cheeky. I think this is going to take a while. Um, which isn't necessarily good. Um, but we shall endeavour. We shall... No, you're not, are you? Where's the safari net when you need one, eh? What about pushing? Can we push you? Yeah, let's push you over here. So that's good. Okay, so uh, yeah, we were talking about updates uh, 1.9. Uh, that's what we were playing on, or that's what we'll be playing on for this. Um, thank you, Squiddy. Um, so what we need, uh, what what else is happening in uh, 1.9? Well, uh, we did start talking about the bows and arrows, but um, yeah, so effectively we're going to have a new um, poisoned, uh, or po poisons can be applied to arrows or something like that which I think is pretty good. Um, I've changed my mind. I'm going to start digging this here just because it's going to be easier. Uh, let's see if we can't get that up there and there. Right, that's you in there. Let's light it up. Last thing we want is creepers spawning inside my chicken pen and blowing it all up. So there's no mobs up here. And we can get some sleep. There's a creeper over there. Has he seen me? Has he seen me? Has he seen me? Has he seen me? He's behind me. He see me. <laughs> so, uh, you saw me, didn't you? <laughs> you did. And he's blown up. Thank you for that. Took my tree out. But we survived. So that's the important thing. Uh, right, one chicken. We need another one. Can we get another one? Okay. I think we might have to use the push technique again. Um, oh, let's swap over the food in the furnace while we're up here. So, uh, yeah. Um, poison can be applied to arrows. And I think the idea behind this is because up till now, if you have a splash potion that you want to throw, you usually end up getting it on yourself as well. And... Yeah, anybody who's ever tried uh, with potions to to do that, it is just an absolute nightmare to use sometimes. So uh, I think that's a good move, having that. I think um got to watch it. They don't do it too strong because, as you know, you can snipe bows from a long way away. So uh, and it may well be if you're going to play on PvP servers, they may nerf that a little bit. But um, I think it's good for, you know, battles on here. It's quite good, but it's... Um, I guess it depends on what mobs you're attacking to whether you really want to be using them on uh, on mobs and that sort of thing. I don't think that once you're established there's anything really too dangerous in this game that would prevent you from uh, from doing that. Right, can you get out now? Are you just going to be derpy in the water again? These chickens are so derpy at the moment. Right, let's see if we can't push you in there and stick that back up there. Right, okay, so you guys, you'll make new chickens. And if we can, no, but we got a baby chicken, we got a baby chicken, we got food. Okay, so we'll have to do that over time and we'll probably make some steps to go down there as well until we want to bring them back up here. Right, we've got some steaks, what we've got, 13, mm, we've got a bit of food, probably enough to start going mining. So let's do that, shall we? Let's head down here and see what's down here. And I think we'll just start lighting up this area as we go. See what's uh, what's what. Uh, okay, well, that's quite unusual. Lots of holes in there. So let's. Uh, there's a spider in here. Hey, spider. Is he going to be mad at me because it's dark? Yeah, it's quite open. Got some more coal there. So let's use up this pick on this coal. So yeah, arrows are obviously uh, <coughs> a new thing. Part of the dual wielding and all those kind of uh, scenarios which is quite good so i think all in all um with the addition of shields um yeah i'm really looking forward to this update uh, it's been a long 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 
long, long time coming. Um, it has been an absolute age since we started adding updates and the new version came out and then it was all about bug fixes and that side of it. So hopefully this new uh, new updates is uh, a sort of cause of celebration. And uh, the other thing I was going to ask you guys as well is what's your thoughts on the new Minecraft... Um, is it Windows 10 Alpha or Windows 10 Beta, they've called it? Um, yeah, what do you think about that? So the, the Windows 10 is basically being launched on the 29th of January uh, of this year. Um, and so, uh, yeah, as part of that, um, and I'm guessing, you know, Microsoft have bought Mojang, so yeah, there's logic in there, isn't there? But essentially... Um, it comes as one of the apps you can download for Windows uh, or for Windows 10. And if you're an existing user like I am, because I've got my game, and any of you guys, if you've got your uh, version of Minecraft for the PC, you automatically um, have a license to use that. Uh, so you log in with the same username and yeah, so on and so forth. Um, but I'm not sure. I, I, I want to see what the game's like, but I'm guessing my... Uh, my sort of uh, feeling on it is it's it's a console game um, maybe a little bit better than consoles I don't know um, and you think about Xbox is obviously um, you know they have their version but it's built on a new platform and that's the thing it's not built on Java so it's built on a different platform um, so it could well be it's a, a beta testing ground they're calling it um, you know Windows 10 version so it's not you know it's not an update to this version that we're playing on at the moment so uh, yeah I'm not so sure I mean I you know I guess like a lot of people um, I'm running Windows 8 8.1 at the moment I've already had the notifications saying would I like to download Windows 10 so you know and I said yeah we'll give it a go so uh, Windows 8 users get Windows 10 automatically or it's a uh, free download um, that spider still here no so uh, yeah from that point of view um, you know you've got it um, I'm guessing if they're saying it's a free download they want lots of people to use it I believe if you're on Windows 7 um, you can uh, essentially get it uh, and I think it's free for a year I was talking to a friend of mine who's uh, an IT consultant and he was saying that, um, yeah, it's basically that it'll be uh, free for a year on Windows 7 users and then you'll have to pay for it. But um, I think it's still going to be a relatively um, cheap option. Is that the end of the line for there? I do believe it is. We've got some iron here. Um, yeah, so it's still, I think, you know, Windows 7. Yeah, it's okay. Windows 8. I do like Windows 8. Uh, now I've got used to it. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good. So I'm guessing Windows 10 is going to be similar but better, more stable. Got all the features that we've been asking for in Windows um, 8 that we haven't got because they obviously backtrack very quickly with the start menu and desktops and, you know, realize that whilst Windows 8 is great for mobile devices and touch screens, uh, a lot of us guys are still not doing that. So... Um, yeah, they, they've uh, they've got that coming out. So, uh, but I'd like to hear your thoughts. What do you think of this new version that, that you've heard about it? Uh, is it going to be another? Because it's on so many platforms now, isn't it? It's available on, you know, Kindle and everything. Really, you can, you know, if you can play it. And yeah, it's uh, it's got it. There's a lot of iron here as well, which is really cool. We are going to be fully armored up, which is pretty good lots of coal as well and this this to me is always a uh, people say it's a boring part of minecraft but i actually enjoy this it's a bit grindy it's a bit you've got to find stuff but yeah um you know we're wandering around uh completely unarmed or not unarmed but no armor on um so we're always taking a risk but it's uh, it's that sort of steady game grinding away get yourself established get your farms up and running um you know, Minecraft for me, I always remember the first few episodes of Minecraft and, you know, just surviving the night. It was just like, how do you do that? How do you survive the night? But, yeah, as you play it more and more, it becomes, uh, as many of you have seen the uh, my hardcore challenges, it's not just about surviving the night. It's 
there about surviving the night uh, and a week uh, of Minecraft without um, without dying at all because once you die you're over so you kind of learn how to do this um, but uh, yeah we're going to have to uh, start getting a bit um, hello bat a bit prepared for the end because I do want to be in a position that when this comes out that we will be heading to the end fairly quickly that's my plan so yeah I need to get established so we're going to try and work on that as quick as we can in as least number of episodes as we can which really means that we're going to have to do things like um, yeah I mean we've got things like the uh, the challenge of um, we'll leave those behind there challenges of uh, arrows bows can we find a spawner um, all those sort of things so that's that way out so let's go back up this way this way we came down but we're still quite high up so um, yeah it's not really surprising and I can see you mr. creeper is it a dead end along there no it's not um, what we probably ought to do whoop, you didn't even kill him. What good are you if you're not even going to kill him for me? Man, but things like this, you see. So we're, we're walking through here. We're lighting up, but um, it'd be nice if we were also sort of, you know, prepared and uh, had the sword available. Whereas what we've got to do now is switch to the hotkey. You know, so I'm, I always have uh, in number one. In fact, we should have that there next to it anyway. Um, yeah, so we, you know, it's always switching to the hotkey, whereas I guess it'll be similar. You'd just be going left and right. There's a way of switching between the two. Um, but it'd just be handy for placing torches and... Talking of which, we are out of now. And there's a long way down there, which is pretty good. Um, I haven't got to find on, so that's why I can't see it. So what we're going to do, let's head back. Um, let's head back this way out, shall we? Uh, is that the way out? No, there is a way out that way, but I believe it's this way. Here we came in. And it's getting night time again as well already. Already. Where did the days go? Right, let's sleep again. And then we'll look at what we're doing next. And we're back. So let's get this iron cooking. In fact, let's um let's get ourselves another furnace going. And uh, we can speed things up a little bit for us. Uh, let's see, that can go there. It can go there even. Right, so we've got uh, half the iron in there. That should be good for two chunks of coal. And that can go in there with the rest of it. So that's good. Um, right, what do we need to get rid of? Get rid of those. Got that. We need to make ourselves up some more sticks. Uh, should be good and then we can get ourselves a load more torches so we can actually go deeper uh, should be four lots of torches there excellent okay uh, we don't need that for the moment we'll leave the dirt don't need that we'll take some wood with us but uh, leave it as that let's go and see what our chickens are doing as our baby chicken grown up that is the question as our baby chicken grown up uh, in fact before we do that what we are going to do is have a means of getting in and out of there and the way I do that is so well, let's use the wood we've got in here let's use that up because I don't usually use that um, that'll do uh, that makes a pressure plate so that makes a trapdoor so yeah trapdoors are fantastic for this if you've got any little this is the most simplest of mob farms you can do instead of building pens and gates and all the rest of it he's not grown up yet but there is an egg there so if I place this on these blocks here so you can see I'm on the bottom block there on the top block now I can place it at the top okay and that's great um, however that doesn't help me very much okay so what we are going to do is place it at the bottom but of the top block okay so I can jump in here no problem um, I can jump out and I can close that and these guys can't get out so uh, it's very simple in and out you guys are ready to have another baby throw the egg in there but that's good so we've got four chickens excellent we'll soon have that going up so hopefully when we get mining one of the first auto farms we'll set up is an auto chicken cooker 
Um, and we'll be able to do that. So that's pretty cool. So um, yeah, I'm just really going to let this uh, all catch up now. Um, but I think we'll probably stop the episode there. As I said, I'm trying to keep them short if I can. So uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed that short little thing. Uh, do leave a comment. Don't forget to click on like uh, and let me know what you want us to be doing in this series. And we'll be seeing you soon. My name's Wild Trekker. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Bye bye.